So first of all, I think it's actually very difficult to, uh, for an enforcement agency to distinguish um, between acquisitions that might actually be ultimately beneficial to competition and ultimately um, efficiency enhancing. Um, so I'm talking about more vertical acquisitions of small companies that might offer a feature that's integrated then into a you know, larger product set, and that becomes ultimately efficiency and consumer welfare enhancing for, for all of us, right? It's difficult to distinguish on a sort of rule basis, which I think is what you're suggesting, um, between those types of good acquisitions and what I think you all view as problematic acquisitions of small companies. And so I offer it more as an observation because um, you know, other than the, the work that I've done at the agencies, um, which, I, which I think we did the right you know, thing in, in looking at these cases, of course, um, you know, I, I'm not sure what the answer is. I'm not sure how to exactly draw the line there. And so I'd be curious to hear, you know, where, for example, you might draw the line between, you know, an acquisition by a large incumbent of a small you know, competitor or a small um, entity that offers a, what would ultimately be a feature, right, a complement um, in some type of an adjacent market. How do you distinguish between that and what you would consider to be a problematic acquisition.